All right, so I'm pulling back up at the gym. So what happened was, while I was doing squats, my wife was calling out. Her and my daughter wanted to go for a run with me. They're like, hurry up, hurry up before we change our mind. So I'm like, all right, so right after I finished my last set of squats, I went off with them. I actually just did a three mile run. Not fast though, cause I, you know, with my daughter, so we taking our time pacing ourselves. But anyways, yeah, after I just finished the squat session, squat session, I went and did a three mile run. But now I'm back at the gym, cause I gotta finish up. It's time to do the chin ups and the dips. Can't leave that out. Now, like I was saying earlier in the video, you know, like and like I say all the time, I don't have a leg day or a back day or arm day or anything like that. I got like six or seven different lifts that. I feel like will encompass everything in my entire body. So I'm trying to get more efficient, more proficient, is that the word? I'm trying to get better on these key lifts. And I feel like I just want to focus on these. You know, I don't want to be a jack of all trades. Like I heard somebody say the other day in CrossFit, they try to be mediocre at everything. They said, oh, that might sound lame, but you know, we're covering all the bases. But see, that I'm I'm sure that's got benefits, but with me, I'm trying to be the master of a few things. And I feel like if I'm able to master these things, see, the benefit is, is that when you try to master on a few things, you're building up those movement patterns. You're, you got those things down like second nature. It's second nature for you. Like if you take a boxer compared to an MMA guy, a boxer's punch is going to feel like an MMA dude's kick, whether or not most people know that or not. But you know, I got experience in boxing and I used to train in that MMA slash boxing gym. It's called the Lions Den in Middletown, Connecticut. But anyways, it's because all a boxer does since he's seven years old is throw punches every day. Punch, punch, punch. So this is second nature to him. He's completely efficient at this. His mechanics and motor pattern is um, phenomenal. You understand what I'm saying? So he's, he's a master of one, not a jack of all. So that's what I'm trying to be. You know, when it comes to these lifts, I'm trying to master deadlifts. I'm trying to master squats. I'm trying to master chin-ups, trying to build up these movement patterns. So it's just second nature. Now, these are big compound movements that incorporate so much of your body that I'm doing full body training when I'm doing these things. All right. So anyways, the sun else I just want to touch on real quick. I seriously was like 50, 50 on even coming to the gym today. Like I felt horrible. Like I was saying it earlier in the video, I've been up since five in the morning. My back was feeling tight. I just, I had every reason in the world not to come. Um, but I had one reason to come and that's these videos. I just started making these videos, documenting my training sessions and everything. And I didn't want to be explaining to you guys how I always come, but it's just this one time I wasn't going to go and you know, come on, you guys only been watching me for like two weeks training and I'm already taking a day off. It's like you just get a new job and you tell them you need a day off. Like, nah, it ain't going to happen like that. So the point of me saying this is this. You never know what's going to happen. Just show up because you never know. You can't predict what's going to happen. It's like in sports when you got a team on paper that's supposed to win. If you match these two teams up on paper, one of them's just guaranteed to win. You match up the offense against the defense and the weaknesses, and you're like, nah, this team's going to run all over this team. It's going to be a route. But then they say, that's why they play the game. Because next thing you know, the underdog shows up and ends up winning. You never know what's going to happen when it comes to performance. You never know how you're going to perform. And I didn't want to be here. And I ended up having one of the best workouts that I could remember in a long time. And it, the opposite is true. Like I was talking to my boy Tomas in there. And he was saying how if you would have talked to him earlier today and told him he was going to put 545 on his back today, he would have been like, no way. And the same thing with me. The way I was feeling, if you would have told me I was going to throw four wheels on my back and hit that today, I've been like, nah, not a chance. I'll break my back trying to do that today. I was thinking about not even doing squats, maybe just messing around with machines. And if y'all know me, you knew I do not mess with machines, but I was just was not feeling it today. But that's why you play the game. That's why you show up. That's why you do it. You know what I'm saying? Because you never know what's going to happen. And like I was saying, the opposite is true sometimes. There'll be times that I come in and I'm feeling phenomenal. I'm feeling so hype and ready to go. And then I get in there and it's like, I used all my energy on the way to the gym or something. Just being hype, all the energy's gone or something because my strength just ain't there. It's like you just never know. So I'm telling you, just show up, show up. Once that adrenaline starts pumping, once you get going, you don't know. This is the thing, man. You got the strength. The strength is there. The strength is in your muscles. Now you just got to see how you're going to be feeling once you get in there. I showed up in the gym. I ain't want to be there. The gym was empty. I felt horrible. I just, but you know what? I showed up and I pushed through. Next thing you know, it just started clicking. It started clicking. We was feeding off each other. He wasn't even planning on doing squats. He was planning on doing deadlifts. But he seen me, said, yo, let's squat together. And next thing you know, you know, the rest is history. We got a great workout. Then I went left, ran three miles, and now I'm back, gonna do my chins and dips. So like I said, man, you just gotta show up and push through even on your bad days, because sometimes your bad days will end up being your best days.
All right, so if you're wondering why you never see me doing weighted chins or dips, it's because there's benefits to doing high reps as well as low repetitions. And most of the time that I'm working with the barbells, I'm sticking with heavier weight for lower reps. So when it comes to the calisthenics, the chins and the dips, I just stick with body weight. So I can try to get some accumulation of the metabolites in the blood so I can get that uh, metabolic fatigue. So I want to get benefits of both, you know. There's different ways that you can build muscle. So I want to take advantage of all of them.